Hey guys, so I made a self-watering pot that I'm going to use as a planter. This is a storage container and it's going to have a water reservoir up to here. So anything above this, the water will um, drip out. I have that pipe there as a means to add water to this without having to touch the plants. And this was the top that was originally on it. I cut it up so that it can fit nice and snug in here. And then I drilled tiny holes in some of these so that we can get some airflow, some um, the roots can reach down there and have a drink. So this is my first time doing it with these type of containers. I've done it with those planters you can purchase from the store, but this is my first time doing it with this. So we'll see how it goes. I am filling this up with water. There will be plenty. And I'm gonna fill it up until I start seeing water come out of that pipe right there. And it lets me know that there's enough water in this. After I add the water to this container, see? This will prevent your roots from drowning. So now I'm gonna add the potting soil and my amendments to it. Have added my potting soil which is just a cheap cheapest one at Home Depot to this mix next I will put in my amendments and then I'll add my Kalalua I have Kalalua and morning glories not morning glories Malabar spinach that I started from seeds so I will be adding that to this pot because I'm going to create a trellis for it to vine up. I just want to show you how you can do something small. Um, I thought about getting those tubs, you know, the 17 gallon. This is only seven gallons. The reason why I am not going with that method, I like to use those for root crops like ginger, potatoes, sweet potatoes, turmeric. I don't like using them for um, regular crops tomatoes indeterminate would be good and the reason why I don't like using it is because you have to put so much soil in there it's not worth the effort so I um, am going with this so that I don't have to apply as much soil because the plants roots aren't that deep so I don't want to be using soil extra soil when I don't have to I even cut up one of my large tree planters that I found on the side of the road in half and turned it into two planters for plants that like shallow roots. So that's why I didn't go with that method and I think I like this a lot. I am adding purple sweet potato vines to my new sip planter but I want to show you and these vines have only been in the soil in this cup exact to be exact this cup for a week and can you see that little purple tuber that purple sweet potato already growing in a week so i'm going to add it to this pot i'm going to add these kentucky wonder pole beans in here so we'll have more than three sisters method we're going to have several things in this one tiny seven gallon planter we got Kalaloo, basil, sweet potatoes, Malabar spinach, and Kentucky pole beans. So it's going to be interesting to see how this grows. I'm going to keep it shaded on the patio for a um, few days because the sweet potatoes were not feeling that heat after being shaded on my patio deck. So we'll see that's it guys i really enjoyed making this sip container and i am looking forward to having leafy greens in the summer as well as root potatoes thanks so much for watching have a blessed day bye bye